Hello. Wear a mask, guys. Black Lives Matter. It's just me. I'm in Joann's. I'm looking at fabric because I want to make my own backpack and lunchbox. So I guess the lunchbox and backpack are gonna be coordinating because I'm like a fifth grader. I was gonna do, you know, the green backpack and orange lunchbox, but you know what? It's time to switch it up. So I don't have <laughs> money right now. So I'm probably gonna sell some of my clothes to Plato's closet and then use some of that and then some of my savings because I think this fabric is $9.99 per yard and then plus tax and then I also have to buy the zippers and stuff. I think this is going to turn out really well and I have five weeks until school starts so yeah this is a really long intro. Anyway I'm not buying anything today because like I said I don't have any money. I just like came to see what they have and like they seem to have extras of the fabric that I want. And there's a person behind me. Bye! Wear your mask! Hello, I'm at Joann's again, and this time I'm actually buying fabric. Yay! Camel work is gonna be so shaky. I thought that this one was cute for the lunchbox, but this is the only quarter left, so I don't think there's gonna be enough of it. And they have a lot of cute orange and red stuff. But I really want either like some animals or some florals because my sister's lunchbox that I was using has like a whole bunch of cute pink cats on it. I feel like that just really suits me. So I kind of want that same like kind of childish vibe. But I also see some like nice ginghams here. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna walk around a little bit. I picked up these two. I just think that they're really cute. My lunchbox, like the main body part is gonna be yellow and then the outside pockets are supposed to be orange. But I just think that these oranges are really cute. So <laughs> probably gonna do these. But now I'm trying to think about like the inside of my backpack cause I kind of want, you know, I want it to be matchy matchy. So the inside of my backpack would also have to be these oranges, but granted, no one is like looking at the inside of my backpack, so no one's gonna care, but I care, because I'm gonna know. Do I really wanna spend all this money on like these cotton square things, but they don't? I mean, they have this orange one, if you can see. They have this one, but this one's just not as cute. I should probably like be fast. And then these are just two, these like ones right here. These are just all two pink for my liking. And then the other, orange stuff that they have is like in the fall section. I just don't want my lunchbox to be fall themed. I think I'm just gonna suck it up though and get like just a floral yellow and a floral orange and call it a day. You know what I think what I'm gonna do I think okay so so I think for the lunchbox I'm going to use this and then maybe something else and then use like a different orange for the inside of my backpack. Okay, we're changing plans again. Not gonna do these just cause like it's too much black. I guess I would have preferred if it was a white background so that it could be more matchy. But um, we're gonna do this one and this one for the lunchbox. So I think I might make this the main color and then make this the um, like accent color that's on the pockets. But I think I might just have to buy the rest of this because this is the only one that's left and I might want to use it as the lining for my backpack. So, yeah, we're, we're finally doing it. But yeah, I'm just going to buy these two and put this away. Hello, we're making a lunchbox. I decided to start with the lunchbox even though I still don't have that metal kind of like <laughs> material that insulates, um, I'm just gonna start, I'm just gonna start going. I also don't have any zippers, but I really need to start this video. I think kind of a while ago, I started sketching a backpack that I wanted and the matching lunchbox. I'm only gonna be using this kind of plan today. So I know that I'll need to get these silver parts. Oh, I'll just need a bottom silver part and two side silver parts. <laughs> yeah, uh, it looks cute. It's not effective, but it looks cute. And I need to buy the straps and the zipper. But I could at least get my patterns like cut. I'm gonna use newspaper to make patterns. 
I also bought elementary sewing skills. My grandmother taught me to sew when I was like seven or eight. So I know how to use a sewing machine, but I figured like this is a comprehensive in-depth guide about literally all the basics of sewing. So how this, I guess I got two yards of this and one yard of this. We will see. I don't know why I took out the fabric. I guess I just wanted to show you. So basically, um, I want the main lunchbox color to be this kind of um, yellow, orange, green floral color. I just think that it's very cute, very aesthetic, if you know what I mean. Then I also got this orange one. Then I also got this. I think this is called goldenrod. See, I goldenrod and kumquat. If you haven't had a kumquat, it's very good and the trees are very easy to grow. Let's get started cutting patterns. I just have newspaper and make the patterns. I know you're supposed to cut out exactly how many shapes you need for each piece of fabric, but I'm just gonna trust myself and only cut out one shape. It's like, so for the lunchbox, you're gonna need, you know, two sheets, right? A front and a back. So then you would cut out one newspaper for the front and one for the back. But I think I'm just going to cut out one of the shape and then two of the fabric. I feel like I can remember that. We'll see what happens. And I've also never drawn a trapezoid, you know, accurately before. So we're gonna see how this is gonna go. All of my measurements are completely arbitrary. I just kind of made them up in my head for what is a good lunchbox size. So basically it's gonna be eight inches on the top, six inches on the bottom and then six inches tall. So I'm gonna measure out the top first and then find the middle of that, draw a six inch line up and then draw three inches on both sides and then connect it. And then that'll be a trapezoid. That makes sense, but we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so I finished drawing it and I don't know if it's too small. I'm just trying to think of like, I could literally go grab my lunch Tupperwares and Okay, I'm looking at one of them. Okay, and that looks like it would fit. And then I could maybe slide my, cause these are, I should just reach, but I don't wanna. Anyway, so I have those which are like very short cylinders. And then I also have plastic square ones. And just looking at it, the circle could fit and then I could put the square right beside it. And then that would be it, I think. Oh, I forgot about seam allowance. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is do a 10 by eight by six, cause it's definitely tall enough, but it's just not wide enough. So I think I'll do a 10 by eight by six so that there'll be half an inch seam allowance all the way around. Very happy that I'm actually finally starting on this stuff. And I'm not gonna call this a tutorial simply because this is just me winging it. And I don't really know if people will be able to follow these directions. Okay. All right, time to cut it out. I guess, I don't know, maybe it's half a tutorial. I have a pen, some newspaper, a ruler, a board, some fabric, a drawing. I don't know. But um, I'm gonna get my scissors and cut it out. I'll need to save, oh yeah, my skirt is from Target. I got it at the beginning of quarantine. And the shirt is thrifted. This is from an old art project that I never completed. Yes, I know that Target is technically fast fashion. Yeah, so I know I'm gonna need to save this piece so that I can get the insulator fabric size as well. I need to sneeze, but it's not. Yeah, it's not. I just keep feeling it in my nose, but I don't know where it goes. Anyway, how are you guys? What's new in your life? I'm doing pretty well. I got a job. Hey, okay, yeah, this looks like a decent sized lunchbox. So I need to write that down that I changed it to, um, I think this is what, nine by seven now because I gave 10 by eight. Okay, so yeah, I think it's nine by seven. Okay, so I have this piece done. I never wrote down how tall I want my pockets to be, but it seems to be about a 
third of the way so maybe a four inch tall let's do that and then i also need to make my triangles and i need to learn how to make an actual pocket because i know how to make a pocket without a zipper but i don't know if i want to have linings and like how all that stuff works this is definitely gonna be a learning process hence elementary sewing skills so i'm definitely gonna have a lot of extra fabric after this simply because i didn't measure at all please sewing tip actually measure how much fabric you'll need because since I put all of my measurements in inches, I didn't feel like converting the square square yardage, square footage, square inchage into square yardage. And then I also didn't know that the fabric roll thing is a yard. So I was just saying random numbers. I was saying, give me a yard of that. Give me two of that. Give me half of that. And I just, I just did not know what was happening. But yeah, definitely measure. I promise. I promise I learned measuring. I just didn't want to measure at that instance in time y'all i think i'm silly okay so i should have just made another whole 10 by 8 um now i'm like hold up <laughs> should have just made a whole nother 10 by 8 trapezoid thing because since i made a um oh i think i measured 10 inches on the hold up wait oh still doesn't make any sense anyway my pattern looks like this when really the bottom should line up and it should like fit exactly so i think i'm just gonna make another one of these then cut that at the four inch mark yeah because i'm trying to think like the seam allowance all that will be tucked in and this is a huge seam allowance that i think about it but you know mistakes mistakes whatever so I'm gonna make the same thing. See, we're learning together. All right, so I got my pieces. I was texting someone and then, so I was texting them before I cut and then I texted them after I cut. And apparently it took me seven minutes to measure and cut this stuff out. So I need to start moving fast. So I have these and now I need to draw the triangle part. Which I think I'm only gonna make one piece for that too. And then I think we can start cutting fabric. I still need to look up how to make an actual zipper pocket because I, in my mind, I just imagine it being a pouch. I'm just trying to think of what a zipper pocket is. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Like it could either be, you have the two lines of the zipper, right? And then you have a pouch connected to the top and then a pouch connected to the bottom and it zips it up that way or you could have a flap on the top and a flap right here and then you have a zipper that connects them so i think i'm going to do the flap method just because the pouch method these are not accurate terms y'all just because i think the pouch method seems a little bit more complicated than what i'm used to so yeah also hopefully i will not mess up the zipper there's so many hopefully is like in this whole entire process because i'm basically just making the whole entire thing up and i need to remember to buy the insulator fabric tomorrow so that i can actually get it done but right now we're going to do triangles and is four inches wide enough i guess that's wide enough for a lunchbox i don't know but then it'll actually end up being five inches by six inches tall oh and i realized y'all I was not giving myself seam allowance on the top. So the lunchbox, since I'm doing half inch seam allowance around the whole thing, it's actually gonna be five inches tall instead of six inches tall. Because again, basic arithmetic is just not my strong suit at 8.30 at night on a Sunday. But yeah, so, oh well. But anyway, we're gonna do four inch. Um, So it's gonna be an isosceles triangle, you know. And then four inches long but then half an inch seam allowance so it'll be five inches and then six inches to the top and i think that'll be good and then we can start cutting fabric yeah, yeah. all right another change in design plans the one that was four inches wide was just way too skinny for my lunchbox so i decided to make it five inches wide so then the actual bottom is six inches long because half inch seam allowance on the um on the sides and then I realized just looking at it from the side, it probably should be taller, but I don't feel like remaking all that again. 
I'm gonna have a new lunchbox. Hey, hey, I'm gonna have a new lunchbox. Out now on iTunes. Um, People don't even use iTunes anymore. What am I talking about? Oh, I need to do a side, which is gonna be the five inches. It's gonna be five inches by seven inch rectangle. And this is how the newspaper looks. It looks like a weird kind of shirt thing. So I got the bottom cut out. I think it looks kind of big, but I don't know. We're not gonna mess around with this no more. We're just gonna, yeah, just making sure everything lines up. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep going because I didn't measure the size that I wanted. We're just making it up. We're just thinking it through our heads, experimenting, redrawing, you know, really enjoying the creative process. Now I think it's time to cut the fabric and my hands are already so filled with ink and I don't have any dark colored chalk to use. And I'm so happy that this fabric has a clear right side and a clear wrong side because I would get so confused as a kid not knowing which is the right side and which is the wrong side. Ooh, this is also exclusively designed for Joanne. It's very pretty. I don't know what it's called, but look at it. It's so pretty. So pretty. Uh-oh. Fan break. Okay. I think I should probably iron it, but it only has the creases from it being folded in um in the bag. So I think yeah, it's very very um not wrinkled at all. Okay. I'm so scared. Now that we're like finally getting to actually cutting the fabric, so I'm gonna need one bottom, two of these. I'm just gonna go with the bottom first, okay? It's a simple rectangle. I can cut a rectangle. So the pen bleeds through a lot, a lot. Just had a tester. Let's find a pencil. I don't have fabric scissors. I just have this craft stuff I got in like middle school. But my first little piece of fabric. I don't know why I'm like getting so excited. I just haven't sewn since I was maybe in like seventh. That's a lie. I was sewing last summer, but it was for book binding, not for clothes and definitely not for anything I'm so excited about. I'm so excited. Also, this just in, again, don't know when this video is coming out, but apparently Brianna Taylor was alive for five minutes after the police shot her um, and did not receive any medical attention until 20 minutes after she was shot. So basically for five minutes, they just didn't help her. And then after she was dead, 15 minutes after she was dead, they decided to help her. I don't, I don't understand. Um, I don't understand. I hope y'all watch the Black Lives Matter video. I hope y'all signed petitions. I hope y'all went to protest. I hope you guys are still doing those things because there is no Black Lives Matter Spirit Week. Black Lives Matter all the time and they always, always will. Next, I'm going to. Oh, look, people wearing masks. Wear your mask. I'm going to cut out two of these triangles. We got two triangles, baby. While I was cutting these, I was thinking that this seems kind of flimsy for a lunchbox. Like if I was just to sew it, like it'd be very flimsy if I wasn't to put the, you know, the insulating material on. And then I was like thinking of these clothes like, well, this is only, you know, a thin layer. So I think it would be fine, but I'm still gonna buy that insulating stuff tomorrow. And then I'm doing my best to, um, since I'm cutting all these different shapes, rectangles, triangles, trapezoids, I'm doing my best not to, you know, decoupage it all over the fabric because once I'm done with it, with the excess, I plan on donating it to a cast project at my school and they make masks to give to people who can't afford to buy one during the corona. So that's what I'll probably do with the excess is just donate it to them after I'm done making all my stuff. Cause I'm pretty sure there'll also be excess cause this is a whole yard, I think. So yeah, I have the bottom, I have the side. 
Now I need to do two, I need to do the front and the back, then I need to do the normal pocket, and then I need to do the zipper pocket, and then I'll see you. We are now doing a face mask because Sunday self-care. Anyway, um, I finish with all of this floral cutting, and oh my gosh, your girl really done bought way too much fabric, like, this is definitely turning into a series and you're just going to see the same fabrics over and over again because I got way too much. I literally bought a whole yard of this when I maybe use like half at most. No, not even half. Like I'm looking at the bottom. I guess I would have had to use, yeah, half. No, a quarter. That's a quarter. And I only used a quarter of a yard, so measure because I don't I think this was like three or four dollars yard. I don't know it wasn't that much money but I still could have saved a dime or two but anyway I'll definitely be making face masks scrunchies yeah sure I don't know I don't know something something really cute maybe you know we'll see but now I need to do the pockets using Vios and then I'll also need to tomorrow I'll need to buy the straps the insulator fabric thing and the zippers and I bought two whole yards of this y'all I bought two yards of this so this is like obviously way too much stuff but it will be used it will be donated if I don't get all the use out of it Wow, dude, this is way too much. I don't know why I bought this. Yeah, I'm gonna measure next time. But this is gonna also line every single pocket on the backpack. So hopefully it gets used up. This is y'all. Oh my word. Morgan, what are you doing? Morgan, dude. It's like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's like two and something y'all. Where's my pattern? Oh, it's right here. Okay. I need to throw this away because I'm gonna get confused. Well, let's go. Okay, so update. I was getting concerned because the fabric's like so thin and even with that like insulating silver thing, it's still gonna be thin. So I went online and I saw this website with like a whole bunch of different lunchbox patterns. I'm still using my own pattern, but I'm just gonna cut everything double so that everything has a lining to it and just so that it's a little bit less thin you know i'm back in joann's right now i'm looking for that insulator fabric like for cooler bags you know so yeah that's what i'm looking for and hopefully i find it because i don't really feel like going anywhere else it's like storming where i live so but oh uh, look at this look at this so cute anyway let's hope that i find this so y'all i found it um it's all polyester and metal so i like there's no more sustainable least evil option with this because i guess we haven't found a um natural alternative that reflects heat or cold back to its source but yeah i'm gonna buy this it's 6.99 a yard i really severely overbought fabric last time so i'm gonna get half a yard of this and then on this direction it says to get cotton batting so then i'll get one yard of that okay so I'm in the natural cotton batting section and it's either $19.99, $14.99, or $16.99. So I was looking at this one just because it seems to be the best because it's 100% cotton. But I mean it also has some amount of polyester so I can make it easier to cut. But I think I'm going to get this one. Yeah, sure it also has some synthetic stuff but it's cheaper and this one is only 93%. The only thing that's upsetting me about the $16.99 one is that it's not US grown like this one, but I think this is the least evil, if you will. I think I'll also get um, a quarter yard of this. Your girl also has a zipper. I think the top is nine inches. I can't remember. I should, if you're sewing, please bring your measurements to the store. But I'm just gonna get this 12 inch one and just see what happens. And then I can also just cut it. Real quick. Before I drive off, I just want to say that I think to you guys, it might seem like this is way more expensive than just buying an insulated lunchbox. I don't really know how much high-end lunchboxes like cost 
or whatever, like from the North Face or like some other camping, whatever brand thing. But the only reason it seems like that is because I definitely, definitely overspent because I think a third of a yard is plenty of material. Like when I was just looking at it, I was like, yeah, this is definitely enough. So it is cheaper. It's just myself can't measure. I was actually doing math in my head this time. I was like, a third of a yard, a third of 36 inches means that it's 12 inches. Like I was actually doing math instead of just buying stuff. I should have been doing that the whole time. But yeah, I just wanted to say that it is cheaper. I'm just, I just wasn't doing it correctly the first time. And that's why it was more expensive. Anyway, I think we're actually going to get on the machine today. But I need to, oh, I need to cut out pattern pieces of this too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Sewing tip actually buy all the fabric at the same time but the reason I was like doing separate trips is because I needed to wait until I had money to like buy stuff you know broke team gang huzzah we have all the pieces cut out and yeah it's two layers I'm gonna sew this first and then cut out these and sew it the first one is sewn baby now I have all those. Also, watch basketball. So I've started sewing the three layers. This one, kind of jank, because I started out and then this was shifted too far over. So this happened. And then I started sewing on the wrong side in an effort to make sure all this was lined up. So now this is white and this is orange. And then you're going to have white and orange right there. But honestly... It's not that bad and like this is the outside and no one's really gonna say anything no one's gonna be like your lunchbox looks like handmade no one's gonna say that like no one bullies kids for their lunchboxes but yeah hopefully it gets better also like this seems very good like you could this could be a winter coat anyway yeah I it's 10 15 I gotta work tomorrow you can tell that this was the one I did first, like you have all this mitch match stitch, but then here, it's very nice and even. So I am very proud of myself. And I'm very surprised that this tiny space can fit, you know, four layers of fabric. And it's gonna have to fit eight layers when we're putting this all together. So let us hope we're the best. We'll never believe where I am. Flipping Joann's. We're gonna cop a nine inch um, zipper and to get some more like strap fabric. And I'm very excited. I like haven't really been, oh, wrong aisle. I haven't really been filming me actually sewing. I don't know if some people like find that noise annoying and my sewing isn't like that even. You know, with the sounds, I just don't want to play that the whole time. You know, you know, yeah, some of this. And I think we're going to finish the lunchbox tonight. So, yeah, I think I'm really just trying to like dig deep into my mind because I really don't want to come back here. I really just want to finish it tonight. I feel like this is it. I really feel like this is it, but I don't, I don't know. We'll probably be back here, not going to lie. Y'all, I'm waiting for them to like uh, call my number and look at what is in the patterns. Look at this. Look at this. This is like an origami lunchbox that can hold your utensil. This is the most novel thing ever. Like this is so cool. Wow. I do not feel inferior. I completely made the pattern on my own so I'm very proud of myself but after seeing this like origami folder picnic blanket lunchbox i'm like we need to step up our lunchbox game <laughs> i think i just spent the last hour doing this but basically i should have done the outside working in so that this wouldn't be you know out but i think once it's all seamed you won't see it just kind of like here we got a dog yeah, this took forever. Sewing zippers is hard. I respect all seamstresses, grandmothers, people who sew everywhere. Now time for another pocket. Guys, it's coming together. I'm just gonna tape down these straps. 
I'm not even measuring at this point. I'm just kind of like, I'm excited that it's almost done, but I'm also kind of like over it. But yeah, I'm very excited. I'm a little irritated because attaching this first strap was fine, fairly clean. This one, I don't know what all this was. I had to redo it like, I don't know how many times. And then I just had to tape this off because I had re-sewn this so many times that it was starting to unravel. So there's like a little bit of tape there, but now, I don't know. I think it, I don't know. I think it's gonna be fine. I just don't even know what was happening there. And then these little like thread things are becoming so annoying. I literally have a whole entire like pile of just thread. So textile waste kids. Now imagine this, but like 500 shirts for your local H&M. So at home, that is the lesson here. But yeah, now time for the other strap and then we can assemble this baby. Y'all, I'm actually the dumbest person ever. Like you're supposed to do the zipper first and now I can't sew this to this because then I'll end up sewing it to the bottom as well. So I'm gonna seam rip this, then attach this to this, then attach this back. And it is 10.30 at night. Before you assemble it, it should look like this. And then make sure you unzip this a little so that once you're done sewing everything, you can actually open it. I'm so proud of myself and I'm so flipping tired, but we're gonna finish. So, um, this is a broken needle. This is problematic. And also the presser foot broke off. So that's also problematic. I don't know if you can see, but this is the needle tip that right there if it'll focus you can kind of see the line right there is the needle and that is where those two pieces should be special thanks to my mom for fixing everything now we just have to go super slow and have really wide stitches i'm so excited it's the last one and then we're done my room now but I love this so much I'm literally like so happy I posted it to the Instagram go follow me on there I am so happy right now this is honestly the most rewarding feeling like I broke a needle I went to Joanne's 17 times but it's all done and it's so cute and I'm gonna Y'all don't understand. I literally did a happy dance to my mom to show her. Happy danced out. Happy danced whilst posting an Instagram story. Happy danced to my sister, who's actually, I need to thank her because she's the whole reason I made this gosh darn lunchbox. Then happy danced to my room and then filmed this. Like you do not understand how happy this makes me. And like, this is a little pocket and then this is a little zip pocket and then there's a zipper on the top and there's the straps and it's just so your own stuff guys it's just it's so rewarding at the end and then you're actually going to use it because you spent like hours <laughs> doing it and um on like a more serious note just having to like sew this I would not want to be forced to do this whether it be like U.S. prison labor or just be like you um, are in such poverty in um, like, you know, India or Vietnam or um, I'm trying to think of other places where American clothes are commonly made, China, to where you just have to do this when you really don't want to or when you've been doing this since you were like 11 or 12, you know, like, does this just makes me realize like how, like this was fun for me because I wanted this lunchbox I got to choose the fabric and stuff like that and like you know my mom helped me out but like this being your job working endless hours and terrible conditions like I'm happy 
I made this lunchbox myself. Sure, you know, the fabric weavers were probably also forced labor, but at least it wasn't more forced labor to make the lunchbox. I'm happy that, you know, I made this myself and that's like the least evil kind of thing. So like, this is just some more perspective on like what life would be like if I had to just sew lunchboxes for North Face or something. And like, I wouldn't be able to take as long or make as many mistakes as I did or like, even if you're looking at it up closely, there's still all these little like threads and stuff out, you know, cause it's my first time sewing in like a few months. Make your own stuff. Try to be a good human to the environment. And um, live your best life, I guess. I don't know, be nice to yourself, be nice to others, be nice to the world. Make lunch boxes if you need a lunch box. <laughs> um, now that I'm done, with all of my PSAs, I hope everything is great where you are. And I hope that the sun is shining and that your sunset is beautiful. And that, um, I don't know, that you're doing well. Good vibes and goodbye.